This video is to show how to log into VayTest. So you're going to be logging into VayTest with your va.gov email address, which is your first name dot last name at va.gov. Now, if this is your first time logging in and you haven't already set up a password, or if you've forgotten your password, you'll want to make sure to click this reset forgot password link. And from there, you're going to go ahead and type in your email address and you're going to type it in twice. And from there, you're going to go ahead and click submit. And what that's going to do is it's going, going to send you an email to that Outlook email address that you that you just entered. And it will give you instructions on how to go ahead and create your password. Now, your password has to be 12 characters, one uppercase letter, one lowercase letter, one number, and one special character. So once you're ready to go, you can go ahead and, and hit cancel. And you're back here to the, to the login page. And again, you, this is going to be your va.gov email address. You're going to go ahead and type that in. Then you're going to go ahead and type in your password, which is, again, 12 characters, one uppercase, one lowercase, one number, one special character. When we got that. We're going to go ahead and log in. And you'll see that you'll, you'll have this statement on here, this privacy statement. So just go ahead and take a second to, to read that. And then once you're done, just go ahead and hit I acknowledge the above statements and you'll be logged in. And you'll notice that VATAS is always going to default to your highest role. So in this particular case, this employee is a supervisor, so it's defaulting to his supervisor role. The employee can also switch between the supervisor role and the employee role just by, by clicking the tab that applies. So if this particular supervisor has leave requests that they need to enter, they would do it under their employee role. And then everything else that they're going to do as a supervisor, they will do under their supervisor role. And then when they are ready to get out of ATAS, they will just come over here to this box over here and just go ahead and log out.